Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. I got my last box of Modern Horizons here. And uh, we're still looking for cards. Surprisingly, after four boxes, you would think we've hit every card that we need, but needless to know, no, we did no we have not. Uh, what do we need? We need the uh, Cal Caldra. We need Sword of Heart and Home. Uh, Grist, I don't think we've gotten it all. Uh, the blue, blue, black, uh, what is it, D Dacos, something like that. There, there's too many mythics that, that we need to hit, so uh, there's a very good chance that we're going to have to buy some of the stuff that we need, which is a little upsetting, but you know what? It is what it is. We cannot complain about all the value we'd be getting in the boxes. What is going on with the... Oh, okay. Yep, starting off with Endurance. Already going up in value, just like uh, pretty much every other card in, in Modern Horizons. I mean, that's how it is. Don't ask me why. Well, I mean, obviously why, but... <laughs> Hey, we're not going to complain, though. Those are actually pretty good. And uh, the more we can have, the merrier. We're going to say that. The more, the merrier. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of the day. Uh, did I already say fantastic day? Probably did. Good morning. Good morning. Yep. Now, Uncommon. There we go. I was about to say Uncommon. We do have three that we're looking for. And uh, the Tireless is one of those. Also looking for uh, Dragon, Chan, Chan Collar or something. You know which one I'm talking about, that one. Um, and then there's one other one. It's a white one. If I see it, I'll recognize it. I know that. Inevitable Betrayal. And our first foil here, the Deep Wood Denzen. Now, I am I'm a little weary about switching over to uh, the D&D &D set after this because, uh, <laughs> let me be honest, I don't... Not very confident in the value of the set at all. Okay, Tanya. Okay, we'll take that. Oh my god, and that's... Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna sleep that bad boy because I remember last time, Homeboy was... Was a little, little, just a little bit, a little bit, price, price, something like that, something like that. Okay, can I open packs? Jeez, Louise. Um, also, uh, just be aware that uh, it is raining. You might catch some of it, you might not, but uh, I'm just warning you already. If you hear the rain, I'm already saying sorry in advance. I mean, I really cannot do anything about the weather, and I got to record, so uh, deal with it. That's what I say. Just freaking deal with it. Chef's Kiss, always beautiful artwork. Can you not focus? Okay, fine that. It doesn't want us to beautiful it. Sorry, you're, sorry, you are no longer beautiful according to the camera. That's, that, I, I apologize, but uh, camera tells no lies. That, that's the saying, right? Camera sees all, tells no lies. Asmoran, plenty of those. You do not need any more Asmorans. I have enough Asmorans that I can make like four Asmoran commander decks and probably have them all do different things. So, uh, please no more Asmoran. We really do not need any more. Wander, okay. And the Sylvum Anthem. Why did I say that? so weird. I'm sorry, I'm like, <laughs> I'm half asleep right now. I'm literally, I, I woke up like, what, like five, ten minutes ago. I'm still a little loopy, we'll say that. And the Soul Talisman. Actually a little surprised that it has a little bit of value. I mean, the only, the only way I could see that, like, to me being useful is if you literally have nothing else to burn and you just want to get some ramp out in, t in three turns, um, or like the only other thing I could think of, to me at least, is if you can tutor for an artifact and put it out on the battlefield, then I guess you could tutor for that. But in my eyes, if I'm tied between that or Soul Ring, I mean, it's a no-brainer to me. Always got to get Soul Ring. It just to me is uh, a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. What am I doing? Oh, gosh. Okay. I thought that was like another rare or something. Profane Tutor and Sea Drake. Wow, we are. We kind of started off hot a little bit and we're kind of. We kind of tapered off. Which, I mean, I expected. I really did expect. <laughs> um, we have been having some pretty good um, unboxing videos. And so I was expecting us to be brought down, you know, to, to the mortal level of normal uh, boxes. I was expecting that. So. If we get, you know, a completely normal box that we barely hit box value or go under, you know what? I'm not going to complain. We deserve it because we have gotten pretty much... Yes! Okay, number one off the list. Chatterfang. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. I don't... At least from my recollection, I don't think we've gotten a Chatterfang yet. So that, that was one of the cards we needed. So maybe can, can we... Not to be greedy. Not to be greedy, Lords of Chaos. Can we get some of the other cards we're looking for? If, if, even if we can get maybe like one or two more of them... I would be satisfied with that. Even if you told me this box literally only had value in those cards, I would be satisfied with that. Lords of Chaos. Hear our prayer. Now you know one thing that is kind of weird. I don't think we've ever, I don't think we had any of this kind of stuff at the other boxings. 
But why are all of our mythics green? It's a little weird. A little sus to me. Something, something's a little weird with that suspend and the abundant harvest. Actually, a little upset about that card because it uh, has seen enough printings now that I think it once used to be you know a couple dollars or something like that. Now it's like, I mean, you could use it as a as a uh, poster and you wouldn't be missing out on any value. Like that, that's how much is dropped. I mean, even the foil price, even like the, the normal foil one, I feel like it's still under a dollar. So, yeah. I mean, it's not a bad card. Don't get me wrong. It's just, you know. Subtlety? S subtle? Subtlety. Sub subtle. Yes. That, that, that one. That one. Of course, we got to sleeve it. Happy, though, we did get something outside of uh, green there. And, uh, you know what, subtlety, that's, that's actually probably not a bad card. It's probably better than the mythics we're actually looking for in the first place. Value-wise, at least. Value. Mishra. Unmarked Grave. And the Goblin Trap. Goblin Trap. I am curious. Uh, anybody looking forward to any of the cards in the DNZ set? I mean, I'm, I'm actually curious if... Uh, if, you know, you actually are satisfied with the set like anybody else. Because I feel like, to me, I feel like the set is just very meh. And I feel like, I don't know, I, I feel like the community should react to the set being meh. Because other than, like, flavor-wise, like, actual mechanics-wise and playing in Magic, no. Don't really see, like, I mean, there's a few cards that are kind of like, okay, yeah, that's pretty good. But I feel like a majority of the set overall is just kind of like, Okay, I, like, when would I ever want to use that card? That, that's what it seems like to me. I don't know. I'm curious if, if other people have the same opinion or not. So please, let me know if I'm just crazy, which I am, or am I right on the target? We actually are pretty good on path for uh, Mythics right now. I'm wondering where our fetch lands are, though. You know, I just realized I didn't even, I didn't even foil or uh, put a sleeve on the, the marshlands there. Ah, you... Mm. I, I got debated by the one. I thought it was. I thought it was our living weapon we were looking for. Oh, Lords of Chaos are laughing at me now. They said, "Okay, put the spell on him to make him forget to sleeve the fetch land." Not forgetting this one. Make him forget to sleeve the fetch land. Oh, and on top of that, let's debate him with the living weapon, but not the one he's looking for because he already has plenty of those living weapons. Oh, foil rare Urza Saga. Okay, yeah, that's that's uh... a. <laughs> That's a card right there. That's definitely a card. Okay, well, uh, between what we've gotten so far, I think we're probably at our box value. So uh, I, I think we pretty much, pretty much are going to be getting over our box value at this point, which I'm not surprised by. Modern Horizons 2, absolutely beast of a set. I mean, value-wise, like actual playable-wise, overall is just, to me, it was a perfect set. Like, I mean, there, there wasn't really anything you could go wrong with that. I mean, I did complain about the fetch lands at the start, but getting your hands on them, um, and I'm actually surprised the value didn't drop as much as I thought it was. And you get new cards like Ignoble High Arc, Exalted, basically, uh, uh, oh god, I can't even think of the name. Ha! <laughs> laugh at me. Uh, the other High Arc card, you know what I'm talking about. You know. That one. Happy to see that they, uh, you know, made another version. For sure. Oh, Curse Totem, yep. Pretty good, pretty good. And, really, and another, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we're gonna not. We're gonna make sure we sleep that one. And that is some. I didn't really realize that. Are they all like black and white pictures? I'm curious because that 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 is that is definitely. I do like that that art. I guess I haven't really paid attention very much to the rest of them. Hmm. Yeah. I, I thumbs up on that one. Thumbs up on that one. And uh, despite us getting you know a lot of foils, I'm surprised the foil prices too are actually pretty holding pretty good. Misty Rainforest, okay, I'd say now we are on track for fetch lands. Um, because at least it seems like to me we're probably averaging like maybe four box or so, give or take. So, uh, yeah, yeah, this is actually a pretty normal box. Nothing super spicy out of it, um, other than, you know, Urza Saga foil and, um, Esper foil and, yeah, yeah, um, <clears throat> normal, normal box. <clears throat> uh. It's gonna be different though, going back to, you know, like the sets that have, you know, that we're trying to hit $100 instead of like $400. It's gonna be a little bit different. We're, your reactions are gonna be a little bit different, that's for sure. A little bit different. Sorry, it's such a long video. I know, I'm, I already know, like, I'm gonna be speeding it up, so I'm 
At this point, I'm not, you know, very pressured to just blow through it. Take a little time a little bit. Enjoy the packs. Enjoy Lords of Chaos, what they can send us. Still waiting for those cards, though, Lords. Still waiting for those cards. When are you going to send them to us? Blood Raid Mardu, okay. Looking at five packs left, I think. Yeah, we're, uh, this is kind of a normal box. Nothing really, nothing I can really blow up about, really, I don't think. I mean, <laughs> saying scolding tards over there. I mean, braids, cool. Fracture, cool. I mean, <laughs> I feel like we, we're we out of steam at this point. I feel like we're just, we're just waiting until the end of the box. That's how we're going. Also, probably help if I knew how to open packs to get through the video quicker. So, uh, yeah, you can thank me for that hunting pack. Obsidian, okay. Three packs left. If we don't get anything juicy in these first, in these next two packs, we're gonna tap the last puck for pack, last pack for good luck. Because uh, you know we haven't done it in a while. We're gonna just see what what happens with it. Sithilis. Oh, okay. They said, oh, oh, wait. You didn't get the chatter thing. We got it. We sent you in the uh, overnight mail. Okay. Well, let's give you a normal one. Hey, hey, Jimmy. Can you send him a foil one too? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Lords of Chaos. Thank you very much. Not really sure what I'm going to do with two of them, though, but uh, we'll find a use. We'll find a use. We ain't going to complain. We did ask for that. Dragon Rage. There we go. Okay, finally. Getting one of those. Or Zosago again. Okay. I feel like next set... Oh, what if we did this for D&D? &D? You know what? We should, uh, we should get a little bingo mat of the cards that we want. See if we can get bingo. And then if we can hit bingo, then maybe I'll do something. We'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll sleep on that one. We'll see We'll see what I think about that, because that, that actually would be kind of fun, I feel like. Okay. Last pack. Okay. Well, we didn't quite get what we're looking for, but we can't complain because we got a lot of really good cards. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for the continued support, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.